Hey guys, for this video, we're going to take a look at this Top Don Ardalink 600, also known as the AL600 OBD2 scanner. Now, Top Don was nice enough to send me this item for free so I can make a video showing it to you. You can see this one is feature filled. We have ABS system, SRS, oil reset, SAS, BMS reset, OBD2 diagnosis. And look at this guy. It's a big one. You have some shortcut buttons at the top. Tell you if you have any codes pending or permanent. A couple of navigational tools or buttons. And the help button there. Now this can be unplugged. It's kind of like just like if you ever plugged in a computer monitor. Here's your end that goes into your OBD2 port. And one thing that is just a little extra feature and attention to detail that I really like is it's got this button on the top and it's a light how cool is that it's always hard to find the port underneath the dash and you're always looking for it bam we got a light we can see it perfectly now now some other features we got this little door on the side and if we open that guy up we can see the USB port and it does come with the cable it also has a micro SD card slot and it does come with the card because one of the really cool features of this is being able to print out the report for the vehicle and it's really handy just for your own records so you know what codes have come up and what you've done to it in the past but also if you have a shop or something and you want to be able to print out something to give to customers be like this is the exact code that was coming up and this is what we did to fix it so that's really cool it also comes with this little micro SD card reader so if you don't have any other way to do it and you do get an instruction manual which goes through all the specific features that you get with this guy but I have a 2018 Chevy Colorado we're gonna plug it in and uh, look a little more in-depth at this top down OBD2 scanner let's get plugged into this OBD2 port lighten it up got her plugged in here is our main menu let's just see what happens as we start hitting buttons Read codes. Considering we only got 15,000 miles on it, better not have any codes coming up. So if codes were there, we could erase the codes. You can do I am readiness for those of you who go through inspections. arrow buttons to Think about doing a video on a car that's never had a trouble code on it. Don't have a ton. Status pass. That's what we want to see.
So we have BMS reset, we have oil reset. Let's see, you can see when I turn on my car, change oil soon. And if we... Oil life remaining, 3%. Let's see what happens. Does running count? <laughs> Probably not. Ignition on. Input range 0 to 100. 100 for newly changed oil. Okay. Sweet! Now I don't even have to get an oil change. <laughs> so that, that doesn't work like that. Oil life remaining! 100%! <laughs> Perfect! Boy, I love that feature. So we look up code definitions, so... Camshaft position sensor, A circuit bank 1 or single sensor. So it tells us what our different codes are. In the setup we change the user measurement, we turn off the beeper. For that. From the main menu, we can also click the help button. Just a little bit of information there. Abbreviations. We do have our shortcut keys, so this first one brings you to trouble codes. We got the middle button there, F2 as it's labeled. Yes. Engine off. I'm leaving the air on, so we're not doing that. No. And then we got the I am readiness as your third. Of course, we've already looked at that. Very cool. Lots of features. Look at that. Look at that oil. And 100%. Cheaper than an oil change. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Alright guys, there it is. The top down.